Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are going to try to make it to orbit for reals this time, not for fakesies. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our orbiter because we can spacecraft, and we're going to remove the wings. And actually, we're going to throw this in with this group, and uh, we'll, we'll yeah, we'll use all these decouplers should fire at the same time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a second group right here oh no that was not what we wanted to do right here with another set of engines and you guys are going to be where did you guys go You guys somehow made it up to here. Yeah, you guys are going to be in this group. Then we'll have this decoupler and this one, and then this decoupler and that one. All right, cool. So let's try this one. Oh, and we want to put fins on because we want that, that stability. So we'll put them up here and hope that works. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is such a weird design. But whatever. That was odd. Let's uh, revert to a launch bay. <laughs> or not, that, that was not, I wanted to revert to vehicle assembly. Uh, revert to vehicle assembly. Are you guys not attached? Usually, it nominally will give me the three I need. Okay, let's try again. Are you guys attached? Right, where are these radial? D oh, I didn't even see. Okay, now I know what's going on here. That was my bad. Now I see what happened. Why aren't you here too? Okay, cool. So this... You come here, got it. Now these engines, so what happened was is that I immediately decoupled these engines. These three engines should be in this compartment. All right, cool. Let's try this again. So now let's just confirm our launch sequence. The bottom engines, decouple, Middle end, these engines, decouple, middle engine, decouple, liquid engine. All right, here we go. Turn on stability control. We don't have any RCS engines, so there's no reason to uh, turn on RCS. It doesn't look like stability control is doing a good enough job. Um, so let's uh, revert <laughs> to vehicle assembly. So we're gonna change our plan here just a little bit. You come off here. I want you be more in line with these guys and then all right I think that will work a little better okay good good I think this is all correct all right let's try launching again I might have to put fins down at the bottom we're gonna find out Turn on stability control. We're already turning. Yeah, we're already tilting. Let's uh, revert flight. We're gonna put some some fins on real quick because we're not having a good day here. So what we want to do is get these symmetrical. All right, let's try one more time. Make sure stability control is on to begin with. It is. And go. And I want to throttle all the way down the liquid engine. I don't want it to actually ignite when we when we do it. No, nope, we're still we're still tilting. Oh oh oh! Our thrust is recovering. Well, this is going to be an interesting mission. This kind of looks like a giant dong. All right. Well. This didn't go quite according to plan, but... Okay, that definitely didn't go according to plan. So let's uh, revert. 
Let's revert to vehicle assembly. Let's try to figure out what the hell we did wrong here. Let's get you out of 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 here. We've clearly made a mistake. Radial decouplers. Let's try going like this. Then we'll do quad engine down here. Put you there like we had last time. So it's quad engine, followed by main engine, followed by second engine. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Maybe the quad engine will uh, be enough. And off we go. So we have four engines giving a significant boost towards the heavens. Then we have our next engine giving us even more boost towards the heavens. All right, cool. Then our next engine is giving us a significant boost towards the heavens. We're gonna try to turn ever so slightly. It doesn't look like that's gonna work. And then, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna turn to the 270 mark. Although really you should be going towards the 90 mark, but okay, there we go. And then light up the engine. We're gonna do a burst for this long and then we're gonna stop, okay. Again, I don't think we'll be able to achieve the orbit that we would desire. 103 is our apoapsis. So we're going to uh, get to the 270 mark, which is fine. Then we will accelerate time towards 103 like all the stars just appeared because we're in orbit. But yeah, we don't have enough fuel, I think, to realistically establish an orbit at 103. Can you take a crew report from up here? Mm, nothing happens, okay. Now slow down, full burn. Let's see if this will get us into orbit. It, and it, I don't think it will. No, we established a pretty partial orbit, but we need a lot more fuel if we're gonna realistically get into orbit up here. All right, so this is a wasted flight. Let's revert to the uh, vehicle assembly building and see if there's something we're just fundamentally missing here. Let's actually look at our uh, contracts. Let's go look at some contracts. Achieve a landing distance of 28 km. Oh, I could have just done that. Let's um, but let's go to the. Let's go look at our contracts. Uh -huh. So we can ferry VIPs, but we can't because we don't have that capability. Perform visual surveys of Kerbin. Take a crew report in flight above 18,000 meters near the Wernher's Basin. Okay, well, we're not near. Can't really do that yet. Test the Mark II radio mounted parachute in flight over Kerbin. So this will give me science. So let's do this. And then, um. We don't have the flea solid booster. Test the Mark 16 parachute. Let's try the Mark 16 parachute as well. All right, so here we go. Let's go to vehicle assembly. Are these the hammer drives that you were telling me about? Yes, these are the R10 hammer boosters. Cool. I don't know why I just took those off. Let's, uh,. Put them back on. Why are you being stupid? All right, cool. 
So what do I need to do to accomplish this? Wait, I thought I took both of these. There it is. Test the R10 hammer. Be in Kerbin. Have an altitude of at least 22,000 to 32,000 meters and a speed between 400 and 700,000 feet meters per second. So what I really need to do is get rid of this liquid stage and all of this stuff and then put in a solid stage in here. Okay, good. And then this solid stage is separate. Good. All right, let's try this. Let's launch. We'll accomplish this mission. I'll get us some science, which might help us out getting to our orbit. Stability control is on. So now, one thing you should realize about these is you need to accomplish all these things simultaneously when activating the engine to get the engine to, prop to be proper here. So... Oh, I wonder if those were the things dropping back to the ground. Interesting. So we've accomplished our speed goals, but we haven't accomplished our altitude goal. Now the nice thing is, is this last one will not affect our, uh, won't affect our, we won't, lo it won't start right away. So it got deployed, but it's not started. I'm leaving it unstarted. We, we have to be up at this altitude, then I can start it. Oh, but I'm going too fast. All right, so let's uh, revert flight. We're going to try this one more time. We were going too fast. That's why we didn't get it. Uh, so. so let's get this up here again. It's probably solvable by turning us into three from four. Orbiter can debris. All right, so yeah, we're going too fast here. Which is fine. It doesn't matter if we're coming up or down. We just have to accomplish this in that, in that range. See, because we're going to accelerate out past the range that we want to be at. That's okay, we're slowing down, so now we just have to wait till we get under 700 and b knock it above 32,000 and we'll be fine. And we'll, we'll hit that without any difficulty. Can we turn the ship at all? Sure. Beautiful, so we accomplished this one. Let's see how this is affecting our orbit. I'm real curious here. Because this actually might get us into orbit much better than the liquid rocket was. I think we're going to run out of fuel. Yeah, we ran out of fuel, but look how close we got. Much, much bigger orbital trajectory we got than last time. Cool. Well, let's accelerate time because we're here in space. I could probably take a uh, crew report. Nothing to, to report, but that's okay. We've achieved this land distance records. So what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to go to Space Center. Because we need to test out the parachute. So we're going to create another space shuttle. This one doesn't need to be nearly as powerful. We need to test out... the Mark 16... Parachute, which is what we have. In fact, I think that, that flight will do it for us. When does that mission run out? Let's go look at our uh, our contracts real quick. Don't save the changes. So yeah, let's look at our contracts real quick. Active. We have, uh, oh, we have a long time to accomplish this mission. All right, so yeah, we'll accomplish this mission. We just need to deploy the parachute in these zones. So it can't be an episode of Kerbal Space Program without uh, 
trying to crash the game. I've done this in every episode so far, twice in the first episode. Um, let's go check out our our ship here. Oh, this is Warner's Basin right here. Oh, I didn't know that was Warner's Basin. That's where we need to, imp to do our visual inspection. But we should be able to uh, switch to this guy. Yep, here we are. We're just gonna go speed a lot. Cool. Coming back into the atmosphere. Let's look at our checklist here. The music just stops on its own, guys. That's not me, by the way, if you're wondering. Okay. We're going too fast. That's the main problem. We are going way too fast. So basically, I do need like a real puddle jumper ship to do this. Boy, the shoot. Oh, I forgot that that was going to eject anyway, no matter what. Oopsies. I forgot that this was going to eject no matter what. There it goes. Luckily it's going to fall into the ocean, so that's good. It's almost there. Into the ocean. Our chute deployed. We're not going to crash and die. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, is that just the shoot going crazy because of the time warp? Yeah. I was like, why did we get so many different shoots? And in the water. Beautiful. Let's go back to the space center. That went fine. But we are going to need a new, a new flight. So I should be able to recover this guy. Yes, recover that vessel. We got a little bit of science. No experience gained. That's too bad. Let's try putting a different pilot in one of these guys. While we try to get the, uh, the... While we try to get the just get up to 22,000 meter plan here. This should work, I think, just fine to probably accomplish that goal. All right, cool. Now you need to be a separate stage. All right, let's launch. And turn on stability control and go. Oh, I was gonna use a different pilot. Oops, that's okay. So we're flying, we've reached the appropriate speed. We're gonna go too fast at first, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll reach the appropriate altitude. What is our uh, current max altitude? Okay, our current max altitude is in the right zone. At least it should be. Is it still in the right zone? Holy crap. Holy crap, it got way up there. Okay, we're no longer accelerating, so it's coming down. But not that much. It's going to be too high, I think. I think this is too high. Because I don't think it's going to come down below 32,000. Let's um, revert the flight to the launch. I don't even actually want to revert to flight the launch. I think I want to revert to assembly real quick. We're just going to try one engine. One engine. Let's do it. We're back to basically stupid Mark One. Let's do it. Off we go. This might not get us high enough. That's what we're going to find out. Just might not be enough power to get us high enough here. 
What's our current apoapsis? Oh yeah, this isn't enough power to get us there. All right, well, this is that's good. This is all good. Let's uh, revert to vehicle assembly and then end this episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, we're making a little slow but steady progress. You know, we're we're getting some science. We're getting ready to upgrade our techs. Uh, what we want to spend our science on next, I haven't figured out yet. Maybe more general rocketry so we can get some real powerful engines and start really going up into space. But with that all being said, I thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.